Accessing your data through Yellowfin is very easy. All you need is a modern web browser that is connected to the internet. This allows you to look at your Impos data the way you want it, where you want it, and when you want it. At the top of your browser, set the URL to reports.impos.com.au, then hit enter. Please type in the username and password provided by Impos. If this is the first time you have logged in, you will be asked to reset your password and configure your personal settings. Once you log in, you will be taken into the dashboard shown here. First, let's orientate you. Along the top of the strip here is the main navigation menu. The arrow indicates where you are. By default, when you first log in, you'll be taken to the dashboard. Click on Create. You will now see a number of reporting objects that you can create, e.g. reports, dashboards, storyboard, discussion and views. You will learn how to create a sales report in the next video. It is important to note that the menu items that you see depends on permissions granted to your user profile. If you have staff who simply consume reports, then the Create option will not be present. On the other hand, if you have been assigned the permission to create reports and dashboards, then the Create options will be available. Click on Browse. You will now be taken to a reporting content page. It is important that you learn how to use the interface well in order to define the contents that you are after. You can click on the reporting content item to expand it and click on the X to close it. In the Browse page, we can see another menu list for browsing along the top. The first option allows you to see your objects that are in draft, that you've marked as favourites, or recently accessed. There is a text box that allows you to do a wildcard search. Type in sales and hit enter. So the contents will be filtered by the wildcard search, that the word that is in the title or in the contents. You can further filter the objects by the type. For example, you might click dashboards and you will see all the dashboards that have cells inside it. You can click on Advanced to see more options on how to filter the objects. Click on Advanced again to close. If you wish to clear all your filter settings, you can click on Clear. You can also sort your objects by recent favourites, comments and views. Furthermore, you can change the layout of your uh, browse page. Currently it is in thumbnails, but you can also select folders and lists. Note that lists has no categories or subcategories, whereas if we choose folders, the categories and subcategories that were talked about in the pre previous folder for, uh, video is present. The second last item that I wish to focus on is on your personal timeline. Click on your name in the main menu bar. 
This takes you to your timeline. Basically, think of this as the Facebook for data. This is where you can share your Yellowfin activities and comments and track the Yellowfin activities and comments of others. If you follow individuals, the individual comments will also appear in your timeline. Lastly, logout is important as well. It is especially important when you're accessing business details in a public computer. In summary, the most important main menu item to become familiar with for data consumers is the browse page. You have seen how to use it to find information that you are after. Now that you are familiar with the Yellowfin interface, you are ready to go to the next video on how to create a sales report.